Hello and welcome to Quarterlight, your car brochure channel. Today's episode, the Mark II Ford Transit. Welcome back. If you're new to Quarterlight, we're a car brochure channel looking at cars from around the world for the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. If you're into cars, you might be interested in this, so please consider liking and subscribing. Today's episode is a Ford Friday episode. Every Friday we look at a Ford. Today is the turn of the Ford Transit. Uh, this time the Mark II facelifted model. Now this is a brochure I've been asked unfortunately quite some time ago by one of the viewers. Um, and I've kind of been holding on to it, so I do apologise. I can't even remember who requested it now, but I've been holding on to it and thinking, mm, shall I do this? Because it's huge. I don't know why they produce such a huge brochure. It's like the same size as a full range Ford brochure. One of the biggest single brochures I have, I think, for one model only. Um, so I really want to do it because obviously everyone's got a memory of the Ford Transit though. So we're going to try and get through it. Might have to get a bit creative, might just speed through a few of the pages, but let's see how we get on. Here's the brochure, pretty good condition, right at the top, I don't know if you can see, 1995 Ford Transit, the delivery system of the 90s, and of course everyone's got a memory of the Transit in the UK. Uh, the Mark II Ford Transit came out all the way back in 1986 and ran till the year 2000 in Europe. It did though have a major facelift in 94, new nose, new dash. Um, Surprised they didn't call it the third generation really, isn't it? But yeah, this is the facelifted um, second generation. We will just refer it to as the smiley faced Ford Transit. But anyway, like I say, it is a big brochure, so let's start off. Okay, so we just flicked over the first page. First page proper is just a card, and it's just telling you what's, look how long it is, the contents. But a really nice picture to start it off, actually. One of the nicer pictures in the brochure. Look at that. A high top, and of course, you know, easy to see why it was called the smiley face. But these were everywhere, weren't they? I'm sure you've ever had a job where you had to use one of these for some kind of delivery purposes you owned one of these and you know like self-employment or whatever or you rented one of these um so i think we've all got some kind of memory um of owning one of these and you know they were everywhere and they were fantastic vehicles i think one of the big things with this now after the facelift they started making it a little bit a bit more creature comforts inside so you had options things like you know electric windows airbags came into it as well um and i think you could even option it with um air conditioning on there as well so certainly getting a little bit more niceties out there and of course so these high top ones um they were often converted to campers you know I remember things like auto sleeper etc so a very versatile vehicle well, I guess I say high top, it's not really a true high top, that is it. There is proper high topped vans that would make a better um, camper than that. But anyway, let's move on. As well as being a big brochure, it's a very wordy brochure as well. This basically just telling you, you know, it's a legendary vehicle, which it kind of it did become a bit of a legendary vehicle, really. The real workhorse of Europe and, you know, super common in the UK, weren't they? Just an image of someone sat behind the cab. Now, I want to make this video, really, um, th there's some interest for you out there um, without taking forever, because if I went through all this and read everything, it's probably like a three-hour video. So I want to go through pretty speedily, but not seem like I'm rushing. So that's the aim, so hopefully I can get there. But let's move on. So this page I do really like. Um, first of all, we've got a kind of like a first glimpse of, you know, Transit at this time didn't have to be super workhorse-like, if I can actually get this thing to tune in. There we go, so lovely metallic paint choices, wheel covers, you know. Some of them later on I think have got colour coordinated bumpers as well. Um, and also I do like these, like I say, these little glimpses of um, these sort of 
older Mark 1 Ford Transits, um, which it actually did show in previous brochures for the Transit. So I just kind of like just showing it moving on. We kind of see there the Mark 2 and then what it came out as here, I think. Or is it? I can't tell really tell if that is a smiley face one actually, but you know, you you mark two, which then got face lifted to this smiley face. So turning the page, next page along, looking at the interior, yeah, it was updated for this facelift model. Quite a nice place to be. Very familiar, really, if you owned a Ford around this time. Um, very car-like interior now. You know, look at all these gauges, really, for a, a transit van, of course. You know cup holders etc etc this thing to page seems to be like a fold out you know this the first page looks like a standard steering wheel and then we've got one with a an airbag in it now here talking about the comprehensive security features yeah you could you could just put a padlock on couldn't you with a <laughs> a big lock on the side I've seen them many times but I don't know how secure they were really but a nice look at the interior there and this little bit of a cage to stop things flying forward and then this little nice little diagram at the side or picture that side showing you know the difference between the high top and the low top and then it continued making a big deal about protecting this Ford Transit yeah a very stolen vehicle I guess but you know it's talking about things like a, a VIN number so, kind of a bit weird really to be honest with you a little bit of a look at that interior that very familiar interior I always found transits very comfortable actually they were always, you know, you stepped up you was high up, you was comfortable I did used to like sitting and driving transits actually, and I guess that's what transits were all about really wasn't it, it was all about a van that felt like a car to drive, because you know when the before the first generation transits vans were horrendous places to be they weren't very pleasant at all transit came along wiped the competition with this now super fast vehicle that felt like a car and really this is a continuation of that story so similar to when we looked at the mark one transit there's lots of different variations this long pickup looks very useful and what else we've got kind of like here these chassis cabs where you can put different boxes on there and then very familiar sights in the 90s uh, smiley face Ford Transit with BT logos on there that brings me back a tipper and another of these sort of chassis cabs with this high roof for removal work etc so why transits have always been lots of different options how you could have your transit yes engine choices why not so what could you get in 1995 to power your ford transit so we've got these nice little graphs to show us the different engine choices so we've got the base two liter petrol we've got various 2.5 liter diesels with different like power outputs and a couple of different turbo diesel 2.5 per turbo diesel so depending how you were using your transit you know you was options for the engine as well as options of high top low top chassis cab etc which we'll see later on in the video okay various different transit vans you've got your your long wheelbase versions as well as your short wheelbase versions uh, but let's have a look at some of this um, standard equipment and see what they actually had at that time so we've got standard security and safety features so a safeguard immobiliser unglazed rear doors so you know solid rear door high security shielded front locks visible VIN lap and diagonal seat belts including centre seat belt anti-submarine front seats seat belt grabbers driver's seat pretensioners uh, intermittent screen wipe, ventilated front disc, rack and pinion power assisted on the long wheelbase, wide rear track and uh, flat top wheel arches in load compartment. Uh, left hand sliding side door with step, door mirror blind spot eliminations, accessory socket, cigar lighters, trip recorder, pull out cup holder, analog clock, uh, delivery note grabber, 
uh, load compartment light box with two 20 watt bulbs high back seats trimmed in windrush fabric with height adjustable head restraints and we even get a stereo radio and it even gives us an idea of some of the options you can have at an extra cost so we can have the high roof um, a security option pack consisting of a double uh, central double locking anti-theft alarm and full englazed steel bulkhead driver and passenger airbags anti-lock brakes power assisted steering so you know you can spec it quite high if you really wanted to you then get this the transit custom again in short or long wheelbase basically your standard transit with a few um, niceties or extras on there uh, so things like body side mouldings, full wheel covers, fascia storage mat, recirculation heater, pollen air filter, load liner with load area lower sidewall trim, camelot velour seat trim, velour seats in your transit, how nice, driver's lumbar support, vanity mirror and a stereo radio cassette. Um, and then you can get options on top of that which is pretty similar to what we've already uh, had a look at but it looks like we've also got heated door mirrors we can have and quick clear heated windscreen and heated rear windows you know to add to those niceties central double locking you could option if you wanted so very car like really so next page showing the high roof high cube vans again available as a long or short wheelbase but my initial thought with these is, you know, converting into a camper, you know, you've plenty of room to stand up there. Then we get these, the variations all side by side. So first of all, looking at this one, looks like a quite high spec van, possibly the custom with your metallic paint and wheel trims. And what we're gonna carry today, various bits out of your home. Lower down, we've got like the long wheelbase version carrying, I don't know, space heaters or something. And then your high top, which is gonna be carrying your office supplies, your, your filing cabinets. And what's happening here? Well, the most random of, the, of them all. Um, we're gonna be uh, carrying a hot air balloon today. There we go, our chassis cabs. Uh, starting at the top with this version, like sort of like an extra cab type version with this unusual door at the back there, I don't remember them ones. Um, and then your more standard version in the center. And then this yellow one is like a super long wheelbase version with this sort of area tacked on the back. These, you know, twin wheels at the back there. I guess these are twin wheels as well for the extra heavy uh, moving capacity or carrying capacity, I should say. And it kind of like gives you examples of those different variations. I guess this is that yellow one really with this um, kind of like extra long wheelbase. Um, so making a very, very useful pickup really, isn't it? But huge, really long. And this is a huge, long chassis cab as well. Not sure exactly what's going on here. Kind of like a, a pickup with a cover on top, I guess. And then we get these sort of like various variations of garbage and you know recycling collections etc. I'm not going to go into great deal but I certainly will zoom in on that um, engine data for anyone who wants to have a look at that in any great detail of course you can pause the screen but different you know engine options for you. And then we get what they refer to as the special operations vehicles. So, you know, again, we get another look at one of these BT vans. I always thought this kind of like graphic on these BT vans was a little bit strange. But this very memorable gray color, why they picked such a dull color, I'm not sure, but there you go. And hopefully not too many of us have had a ride in one of those. Then we get these, the transit buses. I'm sure we all remember that, whether it's going on a school trip or, you know, going to work in some kind of like crew bus. In this rather nice fetching shade of yellow. 
and of course various different seating configurations and number of seats which I'm sure it'll talk about next. So I guess this is the long wheel bases, it's telling us 12 and 15 seaters up the top there. So yeah, quite a long van. And unusual black in this case, but you know, think, I don't know, office parties, school trips. So I guess that's your uh, 15 seater and this will be your um, 12 seater, I guess. So it does tell you a little bit about these uh, vans. Um, so in particular, you know, you've got seat belts on driving all passenger seats, anti-submarine front seats, front seat belt grabbers, driver seat pretensioners, etc, etc. And it goes to tell us about these other features on these uh, buses. Um, petrol catalyst or a diesel engine, power assisted steering, soft ride suspension, a bit more comfort for your passengers, left hand sliding door with step, styled full wheel covers and body side mouldings, headlight washer jets, Ooh. Uh, certified for PSV conformality, England, Scotland, Wales, uh, PSV I guess is that public service vehicles I'm thinking. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et Full length uh, rubber floor mats, high back windrush fabric seats with adjustable head restraints, driver's seat adjustment for reach, rake, and height, stereo radio cassette, and then we've got options on there, haven't we? We've got those security options, anti lock brakes, quick clear, uh, heated windscreen, air conditioning, metallic paint to make your little mini bus a little bit special. And I guess this is just kind of like showing us possibly a school trip. Where are they going? Who knows? Maybe the zoo. Let's say they're going to the zoo. And then we got these unusual transit torneo. Is that how you, spell, how you pronounce that? Um, and these are eight and nine seat buses. So I guess your short wheelbase. Let's zoom in on that one. And this kind of like quite a fancy colour as well. A very fancy almost like a metallic greeny colour um, and there is actually a colour chart at the end so colour choices on your transit and there you go uh, how nice and of course featuring those headlight washers so this is your nine seater nine that looks really fancy doesn't it for a transit that looks like really fancy transit um, so it tells us here it tells you we're in something special, there you go. Uh, exterior body finish colours, bright modern solid colours set off by special full wheel covers, body side mouldings along with heated rear windows and electric tailgate wash wipe. Complete the striking exterior. Similar sort of story with the equipment though. You know, think that soft suspension, full carpeting, how nice. But this is even this is like your top of the range one. Now we're on an eight seater here. This is your top model. Look at this. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. The Tornio GLX. Looks like we've even got alloy wheels. You didn't even get alloy wheels on some some of the gear models. Uh, but here we go. Look at that. How fancy. So what's it tell us here? The GLX has all the style of its sister model, but with a higher level of specifications. The imposing new front end design and stylish body coloured bumpers front and rear are nicely complemented by the trend setting alloy wheels. The Tornio GLX builds on its exterior refinement further with electric, electrically operated front windows, door mirrors and tinted glass all round. Similar sort of standard equipment. But then we've got all these like fancy gear on it as well. That's quite an unusual model. And then some things you can option it even higher with, you know, ABS, airbags, air conditioner. We can even throw a CD player on there if you want to make it even fancier. Nicer spec than some of the Ford cars. I guess if you've got a big family, I look at them seats quite nicely trimmed you know we've got um, armrests not only on the front but you know even on the backs as well 
for a transit van. Come on, that's pretty nice. So certainly some fancy transits there, but you know, you could even add these humongously large cell phones too, if you uh, really wanted to. And I guess this really does date the brochure, doesn't it? I often think 1995 is not very long ago, but look at these, Nokia 101. A big range of different cell phones you could get. Accessories. You can have this tracker. What else have we got here? Uh, an addition, additional sun visor can be fitted above the driver's door. This is hinged visor provides excellent side. Oh, that's nice. Fog lamps just tacked on there. Of course, various roof rack systems, tall bar systems, plastic load liner, plastic wing guards, uh, plastic covers for your transit front headlamps. I wonder if anyone ever bought one of those. What extra lens to improve visibility? Lockable steel storage boxes, storage trays, storage pockets, another storage box of some description. Ooh, steel while security grills on the glass and some kind of ventilation air filter and just the same as any Ford car you've got choices so let's look at these trims I guess these top ones are kind of like your standard trims that's your wind rush ooh cordwain optional vinyl a little bit nasty on a hot day and then we've got these camelots and something they call claudia which is rather nice color wise solid colors radiant red diamond white garnet red ontario blue saffron yellow which we've seen a few of them haven't we? dark blue and even metallics if you want a fancy one moon dust silver cayman blue paprika red about a little bit of reflection there i do apologize arctic blue which is looking a bit uh, silver isn't it but you know think about cars today i wish cars today would have the colors you could get on your transit which is a very sad thing to say isn't it I think that kind of like brings us to the end of this particular brochure. Date on the back there is actually September 1994 for the 1995 uh, Ford Transit facelifted Mark II. And I'm sure lots of you got memories of the Ford Transit, so jot it in the comments, particularly if any of you remember them high spec ones, which I can't really remember them actually uh, but thank you so much for watching today on Ford Friday I had to skip through the specifications there were too many variations specification pages went on for page after page after page after page it would double the length of the video so I hope you don't mind me skipping through those but thank you for watching like I say please do like and subscribe have a great weekend continue the Nissan story tomorrow for the Nissan range 1985 so we'll see you then but for now we'll say take care and goodbye.